So if you're a voiceover pro and you're kind of on the fence about whether or not to attend FAFCON this year, then this video is for you. If you are a voiceover pro and I say the word FAFCON and you want to bless my sneeze, then you need to take off the headphones and get out of your studio and get on the VOBB or Twitter or Facebook or something. Get out of your studio because FAFCON is the voiceover unconference. And if you're like I was last year when the first annual FAFCON event rolled around, I immediately went, unconference? What's an unconference? And why would I want to go? So basically, the idea is that it's a participant-driven unconference, and it's by and for working voiceover pros like yourself, and it is participant-driven which means we're not paying for a big name speaker to come in with his big voice and tell us all about uh, their opinion on voiceover. It is uh, all of us. We are the ones that are doing it. It's highly interactive. Uh, lots of um, people sharing their ideas and their stories and their opinions. And it's just enough structure to kind of um, support what it is that we're doing and let the magic happen. So last year the first event was actually held in my hometown of Portland, Oregon. So I kind of felt like it would be a little silly for me not to attend because it's you know right here and the cost is very minimal. They keep the price down because we're not paying for a big speaker to come in. So I attended I didn't know what to expect. I really kept a very open mind, which the founder and the creator of the unconference, FAFCON, Amy, which she, one of the things that she said is, you know, really keep an open mind about this because we have never done it before. So, you know, you don't know what to expect. So be open about it, which as a voice talent, we should be anyway, right? So I went in with a very open mind and I gotta say, not to be dramatic or anything, because I'm so not like that, it changed my life. It changed my entire voiceover career. Both my thoughts on it and how I go about every day, how I go about my everyday business and how I run my career. Uh, it absolutely changed it based on what I learned at FFCon. So I wasn't sure if when I got there that I would want to lead any of the uh, round robin discussions or any of the sessions at all, if I, would, if I would want to even have anything to share. And boy was I wrong. The first thing that you do when we get started is there's a big blank wall and you have these index cards and you can write down on an index card what topic you want to lead a discussion of or that you would like someone else to lead a discussion of anything like that. And then you put it up on this board and then all the participants go and look at what is being offered at each of the times and they sign up for what they want to go, you know, to participate in. And that very, very first session, I went ahead and put up a card about what Mastermind is. Uh, it's a very important part of my career and I wanted to share what I had learned. And I didn't know if anyone would really even be interested in that. And I was pleasantly surprised. A lot of people were interested. And then another participant also joined me, and we kind of led the discussion together. It was amazing. Talk about magic. There was so much good information. It was, it was crazy. And not just that session. Every session from that point forward. And not only did I learn a ton, I met so many fantastic people that before that, maybe I was only Facebook friends with, or maybe not even that. So, you know, not that it's all about the social part, you know, I'm not really willing to spend um, a lot of time or money on something just for a social aspect. I have to get something out of, out of a conference or an unconference in this case. And I'm a big believer in, you know, waste my money. Okay, well, it doesn't make me very happy. Waste my Diet Coke. I'm really not happy. But waste my time. Yeah, it's not, not good. You'll see the, the dark side of Mercedes Rose. And this... This was no wasting of my time, my money, or my Diet Coke. Um, and they did provide Diet Coke. So if that's a, you know, a concern of yours, maybe that's just me. Um, it, it, it was good. The next conference is actually February 25th through the 27th in Atlanta, Georgia. So I'm going to get on a little plane. and It's probably a, a big plane and 
fly over to the East Coast, and uh, I'll be there. And I really hope you'll be there too, because it's pretty friggin' fantastic. So more information, go and Google FAFCON. I would actually tell you the website. Maybe if I take the time, I'll put it up on the on the video here. But it's kind of a weird Google page thing to get there. So just Google FAFCON, F-A-F-F-C-O-N, and you will find it. It's also on Facebook and Twitter and the VOBB and everywhere else that you should be. All right. Hopefully I'll see you in Atlanta at FAFCON.